cutting across to Sagai Raj joining us from Bengaluru for a little more. Sagai, we are seeing the Savarkar uh, issue that sparked a communal clashes extensively in most parts of Karnataka including Shimoga, Udupi, Tumkuru and now it's escalated in Kodugu as well. So this almost seems like an election campaign that's been rolled out right ahead of the polls eight months ahead in Karnataka. Absolutely. These kind of communal issues uh, never dies here in Karnataka, especially ahead of elections. And this is not something new that we are witnessing in the state of Karnataka. Even in 2018, much before the election, we had seen a uh, few these kind of uh, communal tension flare up uh, in, uh, uh, in the state, especially in the coastal region, as well as uh, communally sensitive areas like Shivamogga and other places. And again, now uh, uh, these kind of issues have been resurrected. And uh, uh, this time, it is a Savarkar issue where we have seen in Shumaga and thereafter in Tumkuru and now in Udupi where the BJP workers are demanding a permanent statute to be built uh, in Brahmagiri circle. Yesterday uh, Congress had protested against this stating that uh, people who have installed the flexes of Savarkar might uh, uh, do something all over the flex and create some kind of communal tension and they had demanded the police to uh, immediately uh, remove that particular uh, uh, flex from that particular phase and uh, now the BJP workers have uh, demanded that there should be a permanent statue over there. So we need to wait and watch how it is going to flare up and how it will have an impact in, in when it comes to law and order situation in the state. So guy, thank you very much for joining us on that. Of course, law and order situation has become a concern in Karnataka.